Prince Albert II of Monaco attends a birthday party in France. Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark presides over an award ceremony in Copenhagen. And His Serene Highness Hereditary Prince Gustav Albrecht of St. Wittgenstein Barlberg is christened. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Alexandra. And this is your Royal Daily News for August 26, 2023. His Serene Highness Hereditary Prince Gustav Albrecht of St. Wittgenstein Barlberg was christened this morning inside the private chapel at Schloss Barlberg. The little prince was born on May 26, 2023 in the United States with the support of a surrogate. And he is the son of their Serene Highnesses Prince Gustav and Princess Karina of St. Wittgenstein Barlberg. The six godparents are His Royal Highness Prince Christian of Denmark, Danish actress Miss Ellen Hillingso, Miss Arabella Gagero, a close friend of Princess Karina from Dorset, England, His Highness Prince Franz Albrecht of Oettingen Spielberg. Bottom row, left to right, Her Royal Highness Princess Theodora of Greece and His Highness Prince Karl Anton of Waldeck and Piermont. Guests attending the small and very private christening included Her Royal Highness Princess Benedicte of Denmark, Her Royal Highness Princess Alexandra of St. Wittgenstein Barlberg, Countess of Elefeld Laving Biele, Count Michael of Elefeld Laving Biele, Count Richard von Fall und Klein Elguth, Countess Ingrid von Fall und Klein Elguth, Her Serene Highness Princess Natalie of St. Wittgenstein Barlberg, Mr. Konstantin Johannesmann, and Ms. Lieselot Axelson. In a press release, Mr. Ralph Brankamp, the spokesman for the princely couple, confirmed that hereditary Prince Gustav Albrecht's christening gown was designed by Ms. Birgit Halstein. Ms. Halstein designed Princess Karina's wedding gown. Quote, the christening gown is a copy of the christening gown worn by Prince Gustav at his christening. However, due to the fragile condition of the gown, a new one was created. The new christening gown is longer and has antique lace panels on the front. It is made with linen lace from the 1860s. The gown also has a layer of silk from Italy and silk chiffon from France. And the bodice is decorated with antique French lace. As I mentioned in Tuesday's episode, on Saturday, September 9th, Prince Gustav and Princess Karina will host a reception inside the Orangerie at Schloss Balberg, quote, to celebrate the birth of their son, Gustav Albrecht, the hereditary prince of St. Wittgenstein Balberg, end quote, according to the invitation recently sent out. Prince Gustav and Princess Karina held their civil wedding ceremony inside the Orangerie at Schloss Balberg on June 3, 2022, after 19 years together and a four-year legal battle with Prince Gustav's uncle. The following day, the princely couple held their religious wedding ceremony inside the private chapel at Schloss Barlberg. On Friday in Aarhus, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark presided over the inauguration of the Museum for Danish Illustration. According to a press release, over 300,000 magazine and newspaper cartoons have been transferred from the Royal Library in Copenhagen to the Museum of Danish Illustration. In the late afternoon, Her Majesty the Queen attended the gala opening of the Aarhus Fest, held at the Music House and well, I'm pretty sure you guessed it by now, Aarhus. Also on Friday in Copenhagen, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark presided over the presentation of the 2023 Crown Prince Frederick International Business Awards Ceremony held at Frederick VIII Slot at Amelienborg. Established in 2020, the Crown Prince Frederick International Business Awards, which are presented in collaboration with the Danish Royal Court, the Danish Export Association and the Trade Council honors the extraordinary export efforts that promote Danish strengths, contribute to the spread of sustainable solutions, and creates jobs in Denmark and abroad. The three award recipients are Aya Aqua Egypt, 3XN Australia, and Mag Venture Incorporated from the United States, all of which are subsidiaries of Danish companies.
Their royal highnesses, Crown Prince Haakon and Crown Princess Metamite of Norway, celebrated their 50th birthdays last evening by throwing a backyard party at the royal palace in Oslo. Guests in attendance included their majesties, King Harald V and Queen Sonia of Norway, her royal highness, Princess Ingrid Alexandra of Norway. His Highness, Prince Sver Magnus of Norway, Her Highness, Princess Marie Louise of Norway, Her Highness, Princess Astrid, Mrs. Ferner, Mrs. Marit Chesum Hoiby, and 400 individuals from all over Norway. According to the Norwegian Royal Court, the 400 other guests are people the Crown Prince couple have met through their many visits, collaboration partners, and patronage organizations, in addition to representatives of official Norway. So what was on the menu? Let's see, we have tomato, mozzarella, and wild plants. That actually looks like cilantro, but whatever. Bread and butter, mixed salad, mini carrot with fresh cheese and pine nuts, broccolini with orange and pumpkin seeds, yum. Chimichurri, double yum. Hummus with lemon. Salmon, sashimi, halibut, grilled veal, birthday cake with berries, and popsicle sticks, yum. On Wednesday, in Oslo, His Majesty King Harald V of Norway appointed the Knight First Class of the Royal Norwegian Order of St. Olaf to Professor and Textile Artist Ms. Britt Fuglevag. Ms. Fuglevag receives the award for her efforts in Norwegian textile art. The presentation of the Royal Norwegian Order of St. Olaf will take place in Oslo on Saturday, September 2nd. On Wednesday, Her Royal Highness Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden made an unannounced visit to the Stockholm City Mission second-hand store and social market slash food pantry at Hallunda Centrum. During the visit, the Crown Princess was informed about the daily activities at both shops, as well as met with employees and trainees, according to the Swedish Royal Court. Meanwhile, in Halmstad, his Royal Highness Prince Daniel of Sweden participated in the 2023 SNN Tilesand Conference held at the Hotel Tilesand. Held under the theme, Creating an Environment for Growth, the conference gathered leading researchers, business leaders, and experts to discuss the prerequisites for competitiveness and growth through lectures, panel discussions, and roundtable discussions. Their Majesties, King Carl Gustav and Queen Sylvia of Sweden, attended the 2023 Stockholm Water Prize Award Ceremony held at the Stockholm City Hall on Wednesday evening. The winner of the Water Prize Award went to Professor Andrea Ronaldo for his groundbreaking research on water course networks. Professor Ronaldo's research has provided new insights into how waterways spread water pollution, invasive species, and waterborne diseases. Her Majesty, Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, opened the Kipster U.S. Farms in North Manchester, Indiana, via a pre-recorded video message on Wednesday. Established in 2017 in the Netherlands, Kipster U.S. Farms is the most animal-friendly and environmentally friendly poultry farm in the world. According to a Kipster press release, the company uses the highest standards of animal welfare, providing a cage-free, natural-like wooded environment with plenty of variety, daylight, and outdoor scurrying space. The chicken feed is made from surplus food from bakeries and other food producers, reducing climate impacts versus standard feed. All Kipster farms use solar panels, quote, purchases carbon credits and employs other sustainable initiatives to offset their environmental footprint, end quote. The air filtration systems reduce particles and ammonia, letting the chickens breathe easier and creating a better environment for farm workers and surrounding rural communities. Kipster eggs are available at Kroger-owned stores across the United States. On Friday, RVD released a new photo of Her Royal Highness Princess Ariane of the Netherlands. 
In a brief statement, RVD stated, quote, Arrived in Italy. Princess Ariane starts at the United World College Adriatic. Here, she will continue her education and work towards her international baccalaureate, end quote. The image of the happy princess was taken by His Majesty King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands. His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco celebrated his eldest son, Mr. Alexander Grimaldi's 20th birthday on Thursday in the south of France. Guests who attended the small celebration included Miss Nicole Coste, the mother of Alexander and the ex-girlfriend of the Sovereign Prince, Miss Jasmine Grace Grimaldi, the eldest daughter of the Sovereign Prince, and Miss Tamara Rotolo, Miss Coste's other two sons from two different relationships, and two other guests. Naturally, Miss Coste hosted the event and purchased a fitting cake for her son, which says, quote, Happy birthday, Alexander, end quote, with the princely family of Monaco, coat of arms, smack dab in the middle. Ms. Jasmine Grace Grimaldi, an up-and-coming actress based in Los Angeles, took to social media to wish her younger brother a very happy birthday, stating, quote, My prince turns 20 today. Love you more than words. Happy birthday, brother. End quote. Hmm. Interesting. Coat of arms, prince. What are they trying to say? Maybe it's nothing. But with all the drama that's been going on these days... Very interesting. And finally, Buckingham Palace announced that Their Majesties King Charles III and Queen Camilla of the United Kingdom will undertake a state visit to France from September 20th through 22nd, 2023. Their Majesties will visit Paris and Bordeaux. The visit will celebrate the shared history, culture, and values of the United Kingdom and France. The upcoming state visit will mark His Majesty the King's 35th official visit to France and Her Majesty the Queen's 9th official visit. Yay! And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I will be back tomorrow on Sunday, August 27th with all the latest world news as long as my voice holds up. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful Saturday afternoon and a great day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Okay, again, have a wonderful Saturday afternoon, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.